Not at all sure I shouldn't be going through. The flight's not until 5.40. Still, no one miss it. Nothing at all to do with the fact that Scotch is free in the first-class lounge. Is it? And I always have a cup of tea. <laughs> anyway, you should be savouring every last moment with your wife. I'm going away for three days, not three years. Mm. I don't know much about Brussels. Does it have a red light district? Oh, yes. It's called NATO headquarters. 60,000 single female secretaries. You're looking forward to it, aren't you? I hope we'll make a change from Westminster. Sam Agar 3. Correction, Sam Agar 2. Mike, is Willie there? He's not here, sir. He's gone to see Tom Elliott's parents. Oh, yes. Please sit down, Mr. Kane. Thank you. Martha, Mr. Kane is here. I'm just making the tea. If you'd rather have a drink. Uh, no, tea's fine, thanks. Good evening, Mr. Kane. Mrs. Elliot. It was good of you to come. Now, if you'll just help yourself. Thank you. Thanks. We had a telegram, of course. But there were no details. He said a letter would follow. That's right, yes, it's on the way. But um, I wanted to come along personally to uh, reassure you that Tom didn't uh, suffer at all. Uh, death was instantaneous. It was a light aircraft? Mm. You see, Tom was acting as a courier for some very important uh, top secret papers. Uh, and he was being flown from Gibraltar to um, a secret destination, and the aircraft uh, just uh, crashed into the sea. His body? No, the aircraft uh, broke up and it sank at once. But a fishing boat saw the crash, which is how we come to have the details. But it failed to get an accurate fix on the position. We knew, of course, that Tom was attached to the Ministry of Defence, doing something hush-hush, but we'd no idea it was courier work. Mm. He was specially selected for that. Um, you realise, don't you, that there won't be any publicity on a crash, so we would I was a Royal to... Marine myself. Tom was following a family tradition. Oh, you understand that? Oh, yes, certainly. He'd have been 29 next Tuesday. Yeah, I know. Well, I think you can be very proud of him. Oh, we are, Mr. Kane. Yes, we are. Good morning, Sir Jeffrey. I was expecting my driver of yesterday evening, Mr. Chabert. Yes, of course, sir. Evidently, he's unwell this morning. However, as you see, the car is the same. And uh, here's my NATO pass. My name is De Hoost, sir. Thank you, Mr. Dehus. What is the meaning of this, Dehus? Sit 
down. My friend there is very good with a hypodermic needle. Provided you behave yourself, Sir Jeffrey, you are in no immediate danger. Morning. Morning. I thought you were coming back last night. I got waylaid by a pup. Oh. How'd it go? I told you I'd do it. No, oh, I was his head of section. You should have heard me. Tom didn't suffer at all. Death was instantaneous. It wouldn't have done them any good to know the truth. The truth? Wasn't well, a word of truth in it. What did you want to say? Your son wasn't serving with the Royal Marines. He was seconded. That's sometimes called cheek dipping to the secret intelligence service. He was a special operations officer. They're sometimes called sandbaggers. And actually, he died in agony in a cheap flat in Sofia because we couldn't save him. Is that what you want to say? Oh, I'm thinking of leaving the sandbaggers. Sorry? Yeah, I could get a job in mission planning. Because you had a rough night with Tom Elliott's parents? Yeah, I did a bit of arithmetic afterwards. Sit down, Willie. We've lost a sandbagger. We've well, lost five in five years. I've been a sandbagger for six. Well, I was a sandbagger for seven. I came through relatively unscathed. It's debatable, isn't it? I'm still alive. I'm alive, but five have died. Oh, it's guilt. Is that what it is? Because they're gone and you're left. It's logic. My number's got to be coming up, well, too. Not necessarily. In our time, there's been one period of three and a half years when we never lost a sandbagger. There was another period of a year when we never lost one. Take a couple of days off with it. No. Talk about it again. Patronise me, please. I'm not patronising you. I'm just asking you to give yourself a chance to recover. No, That's six all. years is enough. I'm too old, too tired, I'm too twitched. Deops. Missing? Get sandbagger two to the ops room. Sandbagger one and myself are coming down. You know the Wellingham's in Brussels? Yeah. Well, he left his hotel this morning for NATO headquarters, official car, but he's vanished. No sign of him, the car, or its driver. Well, don't uh, overreact. Why should I? Because you were family, married to his daughter. There's still more love than hate between you and Wellingham, even if you won't admit it. I do. That's why I'm worried. But if he has gone missing, we've got another problem, too. In his safe at the Foreign Office is our in-house report on relations with South African intelligence. You didn't give that to him? Well, I don't give to him. He was working on a paper on Soviet dominance of the Cape Route. If it gets back to number 10, we've been using the South Africans since the Cabinet's ban on cooperation. Everyone here gets the chop, from C down to me. Bruce, Arthur, are you duty controller? Right, close up, will you? We could have a special. Details, Arthur. Wellingham had an appointment at 9.45 this morning with UK perm rep and NATO HQ. An official car was sent to pick him up at his hotel, the Hilton, at 9 o'clock. Who was the driver? A Belgian civilian, NATO staff. Now, according to witnesses at the hotel, a car did arrive, and descriptions of it tally with the official one, all right. However, they say that Wellingham was driven off by three men, driver and two others. Mike, ask Dean to join us, will you? Yes, sir. Morning, sir. Morning, Bruce. Oh, hello, sir. So Sandbag at two. Diops would be great for you. Um, What's the next flight to Brussels after, say, 12.30? He's coming down, sir. Uh, thanks. 13.35, sir. SN606. Book both sandbaggers on it. Special officer. Affirmative. Sandbaggers to draw weapons on station. The Operation Glorious Dawn. Let's hope Sir Jeffrey's around to see a few more of those. Edward, thanks for coming down. Brussels? Yes. Just got my copy of the signal. I'm sorry, Neil. Both sandbaggers are going. Can you give us some background? Terrorism in Belgium. Mm -hmm. No indigenous groups. Yes, that's not to say it couldn't be any of the European-based teams. Well, which would benefit by kidnapping the permanent undersecretary of the British Foreign Office? Again, any. They work on an international canvas. They'll take a British official, make demands on the Belgian government, then you've got one government putting pressure on another to accept... The IRA. The Carlos Group, the Red Army Faction, the South Moluccans. Until there's a ransom demand, it's impossible to say. I've got to get them started somewhere. I know, Neil, but that's the problem these days. There's active terrorism over two-thirds of the globe. And any high official in any government office is a legitimate target. We are presupposing it is terrorism, sir. A KGB snatch? Or even, well... A defection made to look like kidnapping. Don't be stupid. 
Jeffrey Wellingham is no more likely to defect than you or me. And why should it be a KGB snatch? Neil, I think the best thing is for you to try Ross. Get and difference. I'll get on to Israeli Mossad and the Germans. Germans? The finger squads of GSG-9. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Edward. How the hell are we going to start? Mr. Jeff Ross, please. Yes, I have Mr. Burnside for Mr. Ross. Oh, just a moment, please. It's Miss Milner, sir. Karen? Oh, hello, Neil. Jeff's with the ambassador right now, but I know he's hoping to see you for lunch. I'll try. What's the name of that anti-terrorist computer at Langley? Octopus. Neil, don't forget we're using the GPO, and we're probably into seven cross lines already. So... In a hurry. Can you get on to them? Ask them to run a check on terrorists in Belgium. Particular reference to any which might want to hold HMG to ransom. Trouble? We think Wellington's been snatched in Brussels. I'll do it by phone. Call you later. Thanks. Right, crash brief and go. Boss, mm -hmm. both sandbaggers in the same theatre? Yes. What are we going to do when we get there? I don't know, but at least you'll be there. Hustle the station into getting everything the local police might have. Just do what you can, Willie. All right. It's going to be my last one. I'll try to get it right. Come. Anything further to the signal? No, sir. The D-Int is checking on foreign anti-terrorist squads. The CIA are running it through their computer. And I'm sending both sandbaggers to Brussels. Both sandbaggers? Yes, sir. To do what? We'll know when we get the ransom demand. But it's a matter for the Belgian police. We always put a sandbagger on station during terrorist activities. Sir. One sandbagger, yes. <laughs> Even that is a gesture. But what happens if you get a second special op when both sandbaggers are stuck in Belgium? I'll worry about that when it happens, sir. Neil, I realize you've got a, a personal involvement. Wellingham's in daughter and myself were divorced over four years ago, sir. There are no family ties now. Even so, you're fond of Wellingham, aren't you? Oh. Face up, Neil. Hans Martin Schleyer, Aldo Morrow, Thomas Niedermeyer, all of them kidnapped and killed, despite the best efforts of everyone concerned. So? So either the terrorists' demands will be met, in which case they may let Wellingham go, or he'll be killed. And it won't make the slightest difference to have two sandbaggers chasing the tails all over Europe. I would still like to send both sandbaggers, sir. That is bad, irrational and emotional thinking. Brussels is a very good airhead. <laughs> if we get another special, I can fire one of them out of there just as quickly as out of Heathrow. And the briefing? I can go to Belgium myself, do it there. <laughs> With a three or four hour delay, which could be crucial. No, I'm sorry, Neil. One sandbagger to Brussels. You can make that cane if you wish. And Wallace at immediate notice here. Very well, sir. Sit down and get the tickets and the money, will you? Right. All set, yeah? Karen, if you want to make. Get yourselves out of here as quickly as you can. Don't answer any painting at the airport. If I want to contact you, I'll ask them to broadcast from Mr. Brown, Mr. Green. Deputy Chief, object to asking? By being perfectly logical, so I couldn't argue with him. It'll make a hell to pay when he finds out. I know. As he couldn't throw him with the South African thing. Could he? What? In the minute I took a top secret document out of the building? Gave it to someone who shouldn't even know of its existence? I don't know why you gave it to him. Investment for approvals and future operations. Ironic now, isn't it? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm heading on brief C. Ah, oh, don't be in a hurry to spoil his day. What? We both know that Wellingham's going to turn up in the boot of a car, don't we? I don't stand a cat in hell's chance of getting to him. But if you didn't try, that would be something else for us to live with. And I've had enough of ghosts. Haven't you, Willie?
Wagen ist in Sicherheit. Alles klar. Gut. Irgendwelche Polizisten? Da war eine Straßensperre bei Tovirun, aber wir haben es vermeiden. Gut, prima. You understand German, Sir Jeffrey? Not a word, I'm afraid. And they were getting rid of the NATO car. They said that there was some police activity by Tivirn, but that they managed to avoid it. Are you Bader Meinhof? Uh, Sir Jeffrey, we have a deal. And no questions from you and no nastiness from me. Huh? Here, you can look at your official papers if you wish. We have no interest in the contents of your briefcase. I don't blame you for that. I was just going to put my coffee mug back on the table. Uh, but you must learn to make your movements slow ones. Sir Jeffrey, this is a circumstance where the quick and the dead could be the same thing. Your English is excellent, Monsieur Dews. And your German is not at all bad, Sir Jeffrey. I made a point of checking up on it. It's only two and a half hours since he was taken. I know. But there's so little we can do in the meantime. Are you all right? So? Getting to be a rough time for you. One sandbagger killed and now Wellingham missing. More than that. Kane's talking about leaving the special section. Reaction to Elliot's death? Yes. We can't afford to lose Kane too. We may have lost him already. Is there anything we can do? I don't think so. He was on the point of leaving last year when Laura Dickens was killed. Just couldn't quite bring himself to admit that he'd had enough. And now he has. Mm. Yes, Andy. I have Lady Wellingham on the line, sir. The speaker is due the first time. Hold on. Lady Wellingham, she wants to speak to you urgently. She hasn't spoken to me in four years. Well, she wants to speak to you now. Well, can't you talk to her, sir? I hardly know her. Then, sir. Neil, the foreign secretary has just rung me. Is he right? Is it true geoffrey has been kidnapped? It looks that way. All we really know is that he had an appointment at NATO about two hours ago and hasn't appeared for it. But it can't have been an accident or anything like that. He would have phoned or it would have been reported. Yes, that's why we're worried. You will help, won't you, Neil? Help to find him? Of course. I'm doing everything I can, Jean, I promise you. And so is everyone here and in Belgium. I won't keep you then, but do your best, Neil. I shall. Goodbye, Jean. Is she all right? Saying all the things I didn't want to hear. Got a possible, Neil? Yes? Israeli Mossad say they believe the Boulin group is in Belgium. Boulin? Yes, could be right. We know Boulin had to get out of Hamburg in a hurry. It hasn't been heard of since. Yes, Tom? Karen Milner on Grey. Put her through, will you? Karen? Neil, according to Octopus, the Boulin group is in Brussels. But Boulin's been careful not to commit any offence on Belgian soil, so the Belgian police don't feel moved to go for him. But do the Belgian police know where he is? No, they don't. And neither do we. Only that he moved from Hamburg to Brussels and he's been lying low. Until now, maybe. Hey, how about some lunch, huh? OK, thanks, Karen. And I heard that. Tell him I'm still hoping to make it. The CIA confirmed the Boulin's in Brussels, but no one knows where he is, and the Belgian police don't want the hassle of finding out. That's what the Israelis say, too. Well, you better tell me about this Boulin group. It's a European-based offshoot of the PFLP, with... Why, the Israeli? By definition, pro-Palestinian. More broadly, a mixture of Marxism, Maoism and nihilism. Well, what's that to do with Welling? I don't know. It has close links with and is probably modelled on Ilyich Ramirez Sanchez's gang. The Carlos group? Yes. Boulin is French, but the group is staffed largely by Germans, all former members of the Baden Meinhof lot. Well, the sandbaggers won't be at Heathrow until just after 12. I'll talk to them there. If you will tell Deputy Chief and see. Sure. I'm sorry it had to be Wellingham, Neil. Yes, well, he's pretty tough. He'll survive better than most. <sighs> 
Well, I think I'm about ready for lunch, Monsieur Dews. Mm. Oh, I'm not asking for a menu or a wine list, but I should be grateful for something to eat. Perhaps you would care to cook it yourself. Certainly. I'll pass the time. Yeah, it would be better. Then we can charge Sir Jeffrey for board and lodging. I hope you take American Express. Karen Midler was clandestine services at Langley, wasn't she? Yeah. Covert action staff. Yeah, but she's going to be promoted. She just came here for station experience. She's not trained in breaking an entry by any chance, is she? <laughs> what are you planning on robbing a bank? I want a burglar safe at the Foreign Office. I can just see me getting clearance for that one. Yeah, and I can just see the headlines when it all goes wrong. CIA Watergate's the Foreign Office. Okay, Neil, what's the problem? A file in Wellingham safe that I need to get back if anything happens to him. I don't count on us. But if you want Karen to help back up in Belgium... I don't want a girl working with the sandbaggers. Why? Because she'd remind you of Laura? No one reminds me of Laura. Shall I send him up to you, sir? I'll wait. Good afternoon, sir. Why did you disobey a direct order? Because the conduct of special operations is my responsibility. I deemed it necessary to send both sandbaggers. And if Wellingham hadn't been involved? But he is, of course. And so you put at risk any other special operation which may come up in the meantime. I don't accept that. And I won't accept your disobeying my orders. I'm sorry, sir. You've gone right back to where you were a year ago. Lying, cheating, double-dealing, anything to get your own way. Well, your annual report is overdue. I'm rather too preoccupied to worry about that, sir. But you'll understand if, in the event, it is somewhat less than charitable. More trouble. Oh? This has just come in in the internal distribution from Willie. Request for a transfer within the directorate to mission planning. Yes, I know about it. Presumably he'll try to change his mind. Well, I may not try. If he's lost faith in himself, he's no good to the section. Mission planning might suit him better, anyway. He has been a sandbagger for six years. Yes, but he's never really been the type, has type? he? Type? Well, I've seen the psychiatric reports on sandbaggers. It's what no one understands about them. What? People think a sandbagger is some sort of superman. They don't realise they have to have a basic character defect to qualify. Go on, Dr Lawler. <laughs> no, it's true. Every one of you's had it. Before you get too personal, just remember who makes the coffee round here, will you? Right, I'll tell you in simple terms. None of you has been able to cope with affection, so you've all opted for respect instead. Is that so? Yes, it is. You feel you can't be loved or wanted for the person you are. You have to create a false person, one who is more committed, more dedicated than anybody else. And that's your definition of a sandbagger. Interesting, but wrong. Is it? I've been in the ops directorate for 12 years, longer than you, and I've seen sandbaggers come and go. And Willie Kane is different? He could have been. Why do you think he has such a loathing for violence? Because this isn't his scene at all. He's a nice, uncomplicated human being who should have had a home and wife and kids. Are you volunteering? I might have done before you got to him and turned him inside out. Station sends his love. Where'd you meet him in a distillery? Oh, it's his birthday. Well, it's not yours. Well, it feels like it, staying at the Hilton. If it's going to be my last job, I want some compensation. Years of staying at doss houses and brothels. 
Any word from the police? No leads. What, are they looking for Bullard? Oh, so we're told. Oh. What about the NATO driver? Oh, yeah. His name is Chabert. He was allowed to take the car home at night, and his first call this morning was to pick up Wellingham. Mm. Home address? A place to the north called Vilvoord. Sir, if it wasn't Chabert who arrived here for Wellingham, but it wasn't the right car, Chabert must have been relieved of the car somewhere between Vilvoord and the hotel, yeah? Yes, but the police will have worked that out too. And they've got the manpower to cover the whole route. We're looking for Wellingham, not the bloody driver. Don't forget that police think like police the world over. They're not terrorists, are they? Neither are we. Yeah, we're damn close to them, though, in a lot of ways. What do you mean? It's not so long since you were at field school, is it? No. Special operation, a snatch or a lift? Problems of holding up with someone in a country that's looking for him? We may be able to put ourselves in Boulan's position, decide what he would do, how he would make the snatch. Well, there's one little snag. Boulan's never been to field school. And that's not a classroom out there, is it? This whole country, whole continent for that matter. Anyway, where's Vilvoy? There. Mm. The hotel is, uh, there. So, having got Wellingham, the one thing they wouldn't do is go north again. If the driver's body was found in the meantime, the area would be swarming with cops. That leaves east, south and west. Mm -hmm. The road out in front of the hotel is uh, one way. Points them southwest. Well, come on, you've done the course. All right. Break direction of track as soon as possible. Yeah. Break right, and then moving north or into the city where most cops will be. OK, then reverse track, then break right. Head southeast. Yeah. Now look at this. Thick with villages, we've ruled that out anyway. Thick with villages, lots of prying eyes. Move southeast, did you say? Hmm. Where does it get them? Open country, Forêt de Swans. Mm -hmm. Or to the Uren. Yeah. With the motorway running right through, you see, take them from the city as quickly as possible. And about as far as they could hope to get before the alarm might sound. Pity Boulin never did the course. Got to start somewhere. Yep. I hope that car of yours has got unlimited mileage. I know it's crazy. Yeah? I think we've got company. Sure. I was a bit suspicious earlier on. Looked like there was a white BMW doing a front tail. Mm -hmm. The moment he disappeared, I picked up a blue saloon in my mirror. And he's playing the varying speed game. Yeah, you're right, that is crazy. Increase your speed, just gradually. See if he comes up behind. No, he's dropping away. Well, we are being looked after. Keep your speed up. See if we surprise anybody around the next bend. On a radio link. Same car as before? going on then? You're absolutely certain? Yes. Yeah, we were half expecting to get machine gun around the next corner. But as I said, eventually they both broke off and they disappeared. I don't understand it at all. Not a week. Chabert. Yeah, the other news is that the police have found Chabert, the driver. He'd been dumped in some sightings at Gardenor, bound and gagged. He's still alive. Good. Do we know what he had to say? Well, just that the car was taken by three men. One French, two German. Ties in with the Berlin group, doesn't it? All right. You better get the station to tip off the police. The Tiburon area might be worth a harder look. Yeah, I've done that, but apparently the police have had 30 different tips today on exactly where Boulan is, all investigated, all wrong. Well, then you better stick to Tiburon yourselves. Well, I'm planning to do that too, but uh, well, it's 20 to 6 now. I think I'll leave it till first light. OK, but we could be running out of time. Keep hard on the station's neck for anything the police might get. Tell head of station to buy it if he's got to. Belgian police have found the native driver, sir. Alive? Yes. And he seems to confirm that it was the Boulang group that took his car. And the sandbaggers? 
Well, Kane decided to start checking a place called Tuvuren to the southeast of Brussels. As they got there, they picked up a double tail. That's hard to believe. I agree, but it happened. This wouldn't be Kane justifying their presence to get you off the hook. The operation's rather too important for that, sir. I shouldn't think they've got much else to do, have they? He's doing everything he can. Look, the sandbaggers aren't going to find Wellingham, and you know it. They'd have no chance at all if they weren't in Belgium, sir. Oh, very well. This isn't the time for a debate. But I've warned you, the epitaph after this operation will be written on your annual report. And Wellingham's epitaph? Don't you think that worries me, too? I'll be here till about eight if you need me. Thank you, sir. Lady Wellingham has just phoned. You told her there's no news? Yes, but she wants to meet you now. She suggests Parkway Towers 7.30. All right. I've just had a call from Ulrich Wegener. Who? The boss of GSG9. Oh, yes. He apologises for taking so long to get back to us, but they've been moving fast today themselves, and they've got a finger squad into Brussels. Going for the Boulain group? Yes, and the Brussels police are working with them. Can Willie hook into them? That's the message. I've told Wegener where Willie is, and an officer called Horst Linker will contact him this evening. Not a bad team. The sandbaggers and a finger squad of GSG9. No. No more than a ray of hope, though, is it? You try that again and I'll tie you to the What is here los? Er war im WC und hat das Fenster gehabt. Mensch, ich habe gesagt, kein Brutalität. Er wollte aus dem Fenster springen. Es ist true, Sir Jeffrey. There was an unpleasant smell in the lavatory. I was simply opening the window for ventilation. When you've been in the same set of clothes for a day or two, Sir Jeffrey, there may be a similar kind of unpleasant smell. We shall not complain about you, and you will not complain about the lavatory. Very well. Listen. Forget this nonsense about an officer's duty being to escape. Your duty to yourself is to stay alive. Or perhaps I should say to stay in one piece. There is a tradition in these things of sending a part of the victim's anatomy to his loved ones. An ear. Or perhaps a finger. GSG 9 being... Order Protection Group 9. Grenschutz Gruppe 9. And the finger squads to finger the terrorists, presumably. Yes, they're small units, specially designed to hunt down German terrorists outside Germany itself. They finger the terrorists for the local police who make the arrests. Unless, uh, as appears to be the case in Belgium, the police are reluctant to get involved. Well, that's what this GSG9 officer Linker is doing in Brussels, sir. Persuading the local authorities to mount a real drive against Boulin. And the finger squads are good? Brilliant, sir. Totally dedicated to destroying Bader Meinhof and the Red Army faction, and knowing more about them than their own mothers. Then they'll have everything on the Boulin group? Well, everything except their current address. Do you think they'll make a good combination? Kane and Inca? Yeah. We'll know soon enough. Oh, it is Boulin, I'm sure. Yeah. Are you equally sure that he's still in Belgium? Yes. And the police are putting a lot of pressure on the, the underworld, is it? Mm. Sooner or later, we shall get a whisper. Now, what about our idea of the Tavuran area? I'll ask for some men to be sent there in the morning. But if you did frighten them, they'll shift base. Mm. Boulan is clever, is he? He's a thinking terrorist, really. The dangerous kind. At least he's not too bloodthirsty. He spared the life of the NATO driver. The driver's a Belgian national. For whose murder, the police would be obliged to go all out. But for an English civil servant. It seems so unfair that Wellingham's involved at all. Of course it is unfair, but that means nothing to the Red Army faction or to Boulin. Now, Willie, we shall work with you and act as your link with the Belgian police. But in return, anyone captured in the operation will go to us for interrogation. The British authorities will not interfere. We with. couldn't care less what happens to the terrorists. We want Wellingham back, alive. Well, as to that, we can only do our best. But are your people looking for him? Yes, my people the Belgian police, and a crack anti-terrorist squad from West Germany. Everyone is determined to get him back, Jean, and safely. And do you think they'll be successful? With ourselves and the Germans, we have probably the best team in the world on it. But in the event, that might not be good enough. What are his chances, Neil? 
on past form, very slim. Thank you. I've had so many phone calls today. Everyone from the Prime Minister to the local shopkeepers all saying the same thing. Geoffrey will be quite all right. That's why I wanted to see you, Neil. I knew you'd tell me the truth. Is Belinda staying with you? She's outside in the car. She wanted to come in, but... It's enough that one of us is upset. Yes. Well, knowing you, you'll be anxious to get back to the office. I don't suppose that's changed. No, it hasn't. You finish your drink, Neil. I'll powder my nose on the way. Let me know if there's any news. I shall. Your ex-wife's in the street. It's the best place for her. I was Lady Wellingham. Never misses a trick. Sorry? Nothing. Well, it's obviously a development. It is Boulin, and he's made his demand. In return for Wellingham's life, all NATO countries will suspend arms and economic aid to Israel for a period of 18 months. What? If this is not agreed, Boulin will kill Wellingham as a demonstration and then take out all NATO perm reps, i.e. a high-ranking official from each NATO country one by one until NATO does agree. Everyone knows it's virtually impossible to get all NATO countries to agree on anything. That's right. Which means Wellingham really is in trouble now. And so are you. What do you mean? In a message from the duty ops officer, you have a second special operation. The letter station wants immediate backup, possible lift on a Russian diplomat. And Peel would say if we had a sandbagger here, we could get him away tonight. There's a flight from Heathrow at 22.45, but nothing from Brussels until Friday. Recall sandbagger two? No. Peel's already got me on the cross. I'm not going to hand him the nails. Well, what will you do then? Sacrifice a principle. Neil? Karen? Well, I'll grab your bucket and spade, kid. You're going to Malta. Malta? Yeah, SIS, tours for fun lovers. Neil will take you over for briefing. I see. Give me five minutes to clear up? Of course. Right. Well, that was better than a kick in the crutch from Peel, wasn't it, huh? Finzen? Oh, we've really had a nasty here. I don't know what the hell's going on. Another statement's been issued for a local radio station, purportedly by the Bulan Group, but saying that they're not holding Wellingham, and they did not issue the ransom demand. Is Linker there? No, uh, he's just left. Linker is convinced that this is uh, Bulan boxing clever, trying to confuse the enemy and uh, prevent the Belgian police from going all out for him. You don't agree? I don't know. Linker's the expert. I mean, if we are chasing the wrong group, where does that leave Wellingham? Mm. Well, you stick with Linker and try for Boulat, but put Mike back into the Taviran area. Linker's more or less said that his province now. What am I going to say to him? Well, tell him he's been withdrawn, but keep Linker happy. We need GSG-9 more than they need us. All right. Good night. Good night, Wei. James Greenley. Burnside, sir. I hope I didn't wake you. No, I was listening to Bach. You've heard the demand from the Boulang group. No, it will never meet it. No, but there's now been a denial of that demand, supposedly also by the Boulang group. Some kind of hoax. Linker, the GSG-9 officer, thinks it's a trick. But it's all a bit too uncertain for my liking, sir, so I propose to get to Brussels myself. First flight in the morning. I'm not keen on having you and both sandbaggers over there. Neil can't Kane handle it. Yes, he could, but... It is Wellingham's life, sir. I'd rather be in Brussels, too. As it is, the first flight won't get me there till after 10 o'clock. 
But if you could seek retrospective permission, sir, for me to go. The FCA won't object on anything to help with it. You can't explain your misgivings over the telephone. Well, they're a bit unformulated at the moment, sir. All right. But get back as soon as you can. Good night and good luck. We are on, Billy. The police have a confirmed report. We know where Boulogne is. Where is he? In an apartment in the Rue de Eglise. Get Mike and we go. Uh, Mike's not here. He's on his way back to London. Why? Another operation. He was recalled late last night. Well, Mike is going to miss the fun. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Could I have a drink, please? Uh, a large Coke. Celebrating, sir. In a way, yes. Uh, do we expect to land on time? Five minutes early, sir. Even better. Any second now. I hope these merchants don't shoot first and ask questions afterwards. I don't mind if they take Boulogne dead or alive as long as they take him. And Willingham? Here they come. Guns, drugs, money that we proved to have been stolen. Where's Wellingham? What's that mean? He wasn't there, Vinny. I'm sorry. Well, this is the Boulan Group? Yes. But on Wellingham, we'll start again. Der Junge. Vielleicht hat er doch was gesehen. Das ist just a traveling salesman. Ja, hallo. Ja. Ja. Gut, mach ich. Erfolg, Rosa. So, Jeffrey, you are free to go. Free? Ja, yeah, we need to detain you no longer. And we should have to give you lift back to the city, Sir Jeffrey. Who are you? Oh, just a trio of eccentric millionaires. 
I'll have to go, Lily, really. Look, I've got to find Wellingham. I'll do what I can. Call you later. I promise. Air Lincoln. Yes. Neil Burnside. Oh, how do you do? I was just leaving. You may in a minute. We got Bullan this morning, no Wellingham. So where is he? I told Billy I'd try to find out. And I'll offer you a theory that may save you the bother. GSG9 lives and dies to get a German terrorist, particularly the Bader Meinhof variety. But they've got no jurisdiction outside Germany and have to rely on local police forces. Those are facts, not theory. They knew Boulin was in Brussels, but couldn't get the local police to move against him. So they snatched Wellingham in the hope that the British government would lean on the Belgians. So far, so good. But then the British Secret Service arrived, started sniffing around the Tuburan area where Wellingham was being held. So they had to be diverted. GSG-9 suddenly offered cooperation yesterday afternoon, pulled us away from Tuburan. Exactly. But unfortunately, the Belgian police were still dragging their feet. So GSG-9 issued a false ransom demand, calculated to get every NATO country to lean on the Belgians. And that got the desired result this morning. Wellingham is safe. On his way back to the hotel by now. And what about his wife? Sat at home, worried out of her head? What of all the wives, Mr. Burnside? All the wives who will become widows. All the children who will become orphans if these people are not stopped. You played rough, didn't you? Would you play it any other way? I am sorry, Willie. I'll never know how you got to tell everyone so quickly. I was going to leave that downstairs for you. What is it? A list of Iraqi terrorists operating as hit teams in London and New York. If you pass the London ones to your MI5, the New York ones should win your favor from the CIA. Well then, I hope we may meet again, sir. I've got mixed feelings about that. I'd like to be a German terrorist, would you? No. Yeah. But at least Wellingham was in good hands. Yeah. The South African paper will soon be back in yours. Yes. How did you hit on the Tuviran area? Stuck a pin on a map, of course. You know, damn good, Willie. You're just lucky. That's what I was thinking. I will stick around till Mike's ready for Sandbagger One. How long will that take? Oh, six years. I'm relieved. Thank you. Don't thank me. It means you can explain to Peel yourself. Well, what you're doing, staying here at the Hilton? 